Sports Shots now catching up with Grendon Rangers manager Steve Jackman after Saturday's one-all draw with Aston Clinton. Steve, are you happy with the point today? Happy with the point. I mean, if you're off with one all at the start of the start of the day against a team up there, be more than happy. But I thought in the second half, especially, we had opportunities. Just been talking to the boys, not opportunities to go and score, but opportunity to play a different pass, maybe, um, and one that we've been working with, and situations occur during the game that we can maybe have done something different. Maybe I missed a trick from the sideline when they went down to 10 men. Um, you know, I didn't change formation soon enough, change at half time, but just the little changes here and there. Maybe, maybe a bit more detail on what I've done, but overall, overall happy with the point. You started well, and uh, I think you probably had the better of the first half. You've gone ahead, a um, bit of a, a sloppy goal from Clinton point of view, but you've got to score them. Um, you must have been disappointed not to get to half time still leading with a with that free kick right at the death. Yeah, I mean, um, free kicks one of those things. I, I think they actually done it at their place, and we've had a few of them where you know wins core things. And we've had a couple as well, and they always even themselves out at the end of the season. Uh, look, less than it's one of those things that happens. And to be fair, Coxie held his hands up, and you know maybe we could have done better not giving away the free kick and. We could have gone down, uh, could have gone in half time, sorry, 1 0. Um, second half, from from our point of view, it, Aston Clinton have had a fair share of the play. Um, we've spoken to them since the end of the game and they're not happy with the if decisions that went against them in the second half. They thought they should have had two penalties, one cleared off the line they thought was over the line. Any, any thoughts on those? I'm at a dugout so far away. Um, you know, I, I presume they mean the one that hit the crossbar. I felt they could have had another player sent off for a high tackle. Uh, the linesman on our side certainly saw it that way, potentially. But you know, it's, it's like what I said before. It's all it evens itself up at the end of the game and end of the season. You know, we we'll, we'll look back on it and go, all right. Two, if there's three points to be dished out somewhere, but uh, my players are disappointed in how, they, in how they played and they know they could have done better. Um, but you know, like, like I say, point, point at this stage of the season against a team such as that is massive, massive. They've come here third in the league, they're through to two cup finals. You're down to a bare 11 almost yeah. uh, through, through injuries and players missing. Um, I'm sure before today you would have took a point today. Keep yeah, I think I've said before, massively, massively take a point. Huh? You know, but it's what we do, it's how we play, and that's what I've said to the players just there. I've said we are situations in the game where we could have maybe done something differently to go and potentially score a goal. Um, you know, and yeah, that's including a lot of play, but. Did they have a lot of chances? I didn't hit the crossbow and a couple of other efforts that were hit the post late on, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, hit the post late on, stuff like that. So you know, it's all like, like I say, it's all on as even at the end of the game and at the end of the season. You will, you'll look back and say different things about various games. So you're now on a roll of one defeat in five. That's that's pretty good going, isn't it, this time yeah. of the year? Yeah, take that, take that. Um, one defeat in five. And, and like, like I said to the lads, uh, they're working hard, and extremely hard. Um, you know, they're, all, they're always be organised, but just having that little bit of extra work rate and enthusiasm um, certainly has helped them. There's been a couple of tweaks in the formation recently. Maybe that's helped a bit. Invigor into the scene, stuff like that. You've only got a handful of games left. Does it? Does the season seem to have flown by now? No, no, it's been a long season. It has been a long season, especially. Do you know what? I'm not used to not having games on a Tuesday night. So you used to them coming thick and fast. Whereas I, I always seem to have been waiting for games to come round, like mm -hmm. the train on Wednesday night, and I 
I'm used to that whole Tuesday Thursday cycle, but it's all relative. You know, we 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 do what we got to do, um, and the players are working hard. They're certainly organised. Um, so we, we take we take all that on board. Have you enjoyed it? The season. Yeah, it's been okay. It's been okay. You know, in any season, whatever you do, you know, winning leagues, playoffs, whatever. There's always going to be ups and downs. Whatever you do, and it's just how you come back from this. And I'm hoping, like next week going forward, we can put all that what we've worked on. Work harder again on Wednesday, which they always do. To be fair, when they eventually turn up, um, and then we just go from there. And that's literally all you can, you know. And whatever officials turn up and whatever decision they make, you know, we can't help. Them. You've got a tough running. You've got four teams that are above you in the league, or three teams above you, and you've also got to go to Sarat that seem to be on some sort of. Revival. Yeah, are you looking forward? Are you looking forward to the running? Yeah, definitely. Always looking forward to a game of football. You know, kick about with your mates. Um, I see it more as an opportunity rather than oh, this is a challenge. Every game is a challenge. Doesn't matter who you play, whether you're top of the league, bottom of the league. It's always a challenge. You've always got to do the right thing. Got to work hard, as I've mentioned probably a million times. You know, I say to the players all the time. You know, you work hard. You're you're organised. If you do those things, I, I, I think actually the point today is a reward for our work rate. And we've, funnily enough, I had my back three there on Wednesday night, and we've worked on something which has come about today. You know, we talk about you know being tough to break down. I, I think we deserve the point, and you know these games coming up, you know we've got to do that as a bare minimum. And just one last question. Have you enjoyed it enough to still be Grindham Rangers manager next season? Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Would you want to be? Who, again, who knows? You're not going to answer. Just who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> Look, in my situation, in my position, I can't tell you enough how I live from day to day. Yeah. Because of my situation, yeah. because of my medical situation, I can't tell you enough. I mean, you've seen me trying to walk up from the changing rooms to the pitch here. Um, it's a struggle for me, and every day is a struggle for me, but I'm very fortunate. I've got strong, very strong people around me. My wife, she's absolutely brilliant. So we'll just see what happens. That's are, what are you, if you do not carry on, will you have been proud to have led this club for a season? No, I've not really led the club. I've played for the club as a kid. Um, till about the age of 11. Um, came back and played a few games, coached when he and Leslie were gaff up. Um, and so, of course, I'll, I'll always be proud to manage the village, if you like, where I'm from and everything. Just go from there. You, you can only take things a day at a time, I, I believe. In the situation I'm in, I can't do any more than that. Okay, well, we hope to see you next season and uh, thank you very much for your time. See you soon.